believe it or not, because of the amount of shoes, but I'm not really a shoe person. No, that's a lie, I am. But I'm much more of a bag person, basically. So today is bag clear out day. You guys loved my shoe clear out video, so today we're going to do bags. Before I start, there is a few things I want to address. Firstly, I got so many comments last week on this bralette um, that I was wearing. Everyone was like, where's your top from? It's actually a bra. Uh, so yeah, but it kind of looks like a top. I like it as a top, um, and it's so hot right now. We're having a heat wave. Well, it's not really a heat wave anymore. It's just a really hot summer in London. So I've literally been wearing this every day. It's from Victoria's Secret, and I just think it's really cute. So I just wanted to let you guys know I'll leave a link to it in the info box also I've had so many messages saying when are you going to be selling the shoes from your shoe clear out loads of people think I've changed my mind it's not that it's just I've had so much to do but I am going to be uh, listing all of those shoes on Depop like this week uh, as well as the bags from this video which will probably go up the week after and lastly I just wanted to reassure you guys that I will be doing a room tour actually no that's a lie I'm not doing a room tour just yet because my bed hasn't arrived my bed's gonna take like two months to come but I've been doing a room makeover like vlog for the past like two or three months and that's going to be going up this month and I can't wait for you guys to see it I know you're going to love it so that will be coming up this month and I'm also going to be doing a makeup collection video finally this month as well so there's lots to look forward to so make sure you hit subscribe down below if you're not subscribed already and if you are subscribed please turn on notifications for my channel to make sure that you know when I've uploaded and you don't miss my videos so with all of that out of the way let's get started um, I have so many bags. I think I have a hundred. I want to clear out half of these bags. Really, I do. There's too many. I don't wear them all. And I need the space as well. And I just want to say that just like my shoe clear out, the reason I have so many bags is just a product of what I do as a YouTuber, blogger, influencer um, in fashion. I have a lot more stuff than I would if I wasn't doing this. Also, guys, I'm not doing my more high-end designer bags. I'm only doing my like high street lower end bags as you can see my high street I mean my designer bags are all like here already um, because I don't have like that many and I love them all so I don't want to clear them out so let's just get going uh, I'm just gonna pick them at random I have a huge pile here uh, first of all this bag okay I'm gonna keep this because I haven't had this for very long this is from Guess um, and I just got this on my late Como trip with them and I just love the colour and I don't have a bag this colour I like the ring handle and I just think it's really cute and it's pretty eye catching but still very simple Simple. and I've actually been using this quite a lot already this summer uh, far more than I thought I was going to so yeah I'll hold on to this good start as always ready okay this is a little top shop bag it's really cute it's pink um, and the top is kind of like a faux suede and then it's faux leather and it has a nice gold strap for crossbody I think I'll get rid of this one I just think I have other pink bags that I prefer that I would reach for more than this okay I just had a rummage and found that I had two pink like tweedy bags these are both really cute i oh, i don't know what to do about these um i think i want to definitely keep this one this is a kurt geiger one i just think it's really unique looking um with this kind of like gunmetal gray strap and the eagle and the pearls i don't know i think this is really unique and really cool and this could actually go on display in one of my shelves and this one is from river island and I'm in two minds about this. In real life, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I could lose this. But on camera, it looks really, really good. I don't know, it is really cute. I'll put this as a provisional and we'll come back to it at the end. When I've seen how much I've cleared out, we'll decide. Okay, here are two uh, top handle bags. Both really cute. I have to keep this one. This is my Ted Baker one. I got this last summer and I actually use it all the time. No point getting rid of that. Um, this one, oh, it's really cute. It's from a brand called Colette by Colette Heyman. Um, I like this little kind of little tail. Obviously it's faux, but it looks like a little pink tail. Um, it has like embroidery. I don't know about this. I actually really like the bag. I think it's really beautiful, but I just don't know if I'm going to use it. I just think, again, I have other pink bags that I prefer to this. I just feel like it's a sign. Like, even though it's beautiful, if I'm not using it, am I going to use it? So yeah, maybe I should get rid of this one, or maybe I should keep it as provisional. Oh god, I can see the same thing happening as in the shoe video. I'm just going to say yes to keeping everything. I'm going to put it in the no pile for now. I have two Cambridge Satchel Company bags here. I think the dust bag is inside this one. Um, I love this bag. I just got this in my spring fashion edit and I just think it's 
so cute. Like, it's so kind of retro looking, like it looks kind of 60s. Um, and it's just such beautiful quality. Like they're handmade in England. Like they are really just the best. It's just so cute and really unique. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I'm not getting rid of that. This one, ooh. Again, it's obviously it's beautiful, but I don't really use it. I haven't found a great deal of use for this bag yet. Um, I might see if my sister wants this because I kind of don't want to get rid of it because it's so beautiful, but I just, I don't know if I'm going to wear it or not. Um, this is so hard. This is literally, this is harder than the shoes. This is actually harder than the shoes because I'm a bag girl. Believe it or not, because of the amount of shoes, but I'm not really a shoe person. No, that's a lie, I am. But I'm much more of a bag person, basically. Okay, next I have this bag, which I can't remember. Oh yeah, okay. So it's a cute little pink crossbody by a brand called Seven. These bags, I feel like, are really good if you're going like on a flight or to a theme park and you just want something to like cross over the body, an easy access to get your phone and your money or your passport or whatever it is. However, I do have a different one that I do think is a bit better than this because it's just a little bit smaller and a little bit less bulky. So, I mean, this is super duper cute, but I think I'm going to lose this because I just think if it came down to it and I had the choice between this and my other one, which I'll show you, I would probably choose the other one. And the bag which I am referring to is this one. This is by a brand called Pop and Suki, which is Suki Waterhouse's uh, handbag brand, and it's super cute. It's honestly the cutest brand ever. This is like their little signature bag it's called the camera bag although let me tell you it does not fit a camera inside I mean actually that's a lie it probably fits the Canon G7X in it just about fits my phone in but this has been the perfect bag like when I was at Disneyland um, and when we went to all the theme parks in LA last year and the airports so this was like the perfect bag because it's just small enough that you don't really know it's there but it can fit everything in that you really need like all the essentials because also when you have a big bag you tend to fill it with things that you don't need and it just drags you down so basically this is perfect and it says Freddy on. You can get them personalised um, and they're just they're just the cutest bags ever. I love this. So keeping this one and getting rid of the other one, it kind of makes sense. Speaking of Pop and Suki, I just want to show you one of their new bags they just sent to me. I'm not clearing it out because I just got it and it's new and I love it. Um, but I want to show you. So it's this one here and it's their, I think it's called their Lolita bag. And they come in a few different colours. I got mine in like white croc. It's super duper cute and really unique. Like I haven't really seen another bag like this before. I think it's really unusual and opens like this. It's not the most convenient bag, but it's adorable and I love it. And look at their dust bags. I love the dust bags. Okay, next I have a Kurt Geiger bag, or maybe it's just in a Kurt Geiger dust bag. Oh no, it's a Kurt Geiger bag. Um, so it's this one. I really liked this at the time when I got this. Um, it's super cute. It's a nice like bluey grey colour. It's quite a versatile colour actually. It's really nice quality. It's like Saffiano leather. I just don't think I'm going to wear this anymore. I haven't used this in at least a year, if not more. I definitely had a good use out of it, although it's in very, very good condition. Um, but yeah, I think I'll lose this. It takes up quite a lot of face and I don't think I'm going to use this anymore. So I have these two bags, they're both adorable. This one's Topshop, this one is Dune I think. This bag was like my bag when I didn't have my Chloe bag and I felt like this gave me a similar vibe to the Chloe bag. I don't know, I, I really loved this and I still love it now. If you're going to like a bar or you're going out, so you don't really want to take a super duper expensive bag in case anything happens to it. So I do think it's good for me to hold on to a few bags like this that I really love that are more affordable that isn't going to be like a disaster if anything happens to it. So I'll keep hold of this one. However, this I feel like I can lose. I just think it's too small. Like, like, it's really tiny, it's adorable, um, and I do really like it. I like everything I have, there's nothing I don't like, you know? But I feel like I can probably live without this one. I don't know, or is it good to keep a grey bag? Is grey a good colour to kind of have around, sticking around just in case? This kind of reminds me of like a bull though. You know, like the gold rings that they have in their nose. Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna put it in the no pile. Okie dokie, next I have my two 
guest handbags. I got these for my Russia trip. I think I'd like to hold on to this one because I do actually like it. I know it's a bit tacky. It is a little bit tacky, but I feel like with the right outfit, it wouldn't be tacky. If you're going to wear it with a tracksuit, it's going to look really tacky. If you wear it with like a really beautiful dress and a nice pair of boots or heels, then it's going to look pretty. So yeah, I'm going to keep the pink one. However, the white one, I'm not totally mad on this. I don't think there's anything particularly special about it. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm actually not doing too bad, am I? I'm not doing too bad. Let's do more guest bags because I have loads. Okay, I have a little collection of guest bags here. So the first one is this, which is a cute little like crossbody clutch. This is actually really, really cute. However, there is another one that's very, very similar that's pink and gold. So obviously there's absolutely no need to keep both of these. I have to decide which I prefer. Um, I kind of prefer the look of the all pink. However, it kind of has some weird colours in the sides and the gold is just plain. So I think I will keep the pink and gold and lose the pink with the other colours. Sounds good to me. And then I have this guest bag, which I really like because I just think it's a really nice, plain, like classy, classic black clutch. And I really like the thin gold strap on it. And I think, again, it's just a good bag to have. Um, you could get a lot of use out of this and it doesn't really take up too much room. So I'll keep this one definitely. And then I have this one, which I think I do want to keep also because again, like the Pop and Suki one, this is just a really cute little crossbody to have like when you're flying or traveling, going to a theme park. And I know I've already got the Pop and Suki one, but I do really like this. I like the quilted kind of leather um, and I just think it's really adorable. So um, I probably should get rid of this but I, I want I want to keep it <laughs> okay I'm just gonna whiz through a few bags that I know I want to keep um, first of all this one from Aldo this is a beautiful um, applique box clutch which I love it's just really unique in fact I was in WH Smith the other day why was I in WH Smith I can't remember why I was in there but I was and a man came up to me who didn't really look like the kind of man who would notice a handbag not to generalize but he didn't and he was like that is such a nice bag it's lovely and I was like, thank you. And he said, it's so nice to see something different. Everyone has the same old bag, um, but that really stands out and that's really made me smile. And I was like, so I mean, the bag made someone say, that is reason enough to keep it. And then this bag, of course, this is also from Aldo. I just think it stands out so much. I love the colors. I do need a little bit of color variety in my handbag collection. So I really like the blue. Um, sometimes I take this scarf off and just have it without. It kind of has this cute Gucci vibe. I love the contrasting colors and I just think it really stands out and I love it. Then of course I have my basket bag from Mango, which is honestly probably my most worn bag of the summer so far. It's incredible. It just goes with everything. Um, I feel like it's so trendy it's really stylish right now this kind of bag is so in right now and it's just really really beautiful and I've just worn it so much already I'm obsessed with it next I have these cute little bags from Coach Chanel they're a brand an Italian brand that I did a shoot with in Parma last year and these are the bags that I shot and I got to keep them um, and they are really cute uh, I think I want to keep them both I kind of thought that I would get rid of these but now looking at the colors I just think they're really fun and maybe I should just give them a little bit more of a chance during summer Summer. I love this bright Barbie pink. I think it's so fun and I don't really have any other bags. This colour and then this one is like rose gold, which maybe I'll get rid of this one. Um, maybe I don't need to. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm leaning towards the pink because I think it's more fun, but then this is also really cute too. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm going to leave these. I'm going to keep both of them for now, but that's kind of made up my decision. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to get rid of the River Island bag, even though I love it. I just, I need to be ruthless. Then I have my little black stripey uh, Beetlejuice bag from Zara. I just really like this. I think it's really cool. And it, again, like it kind of stands out in my collection. I don't have loads of stuff like this, uh, especially black. You know, I don't have a lot of black, so yeah I'm keeping hold of this I get a lot of use out of that actually but then I have a couple more bags that I know I'm gonna want to keep this one by coach it's just so beautiful I actually designed this you can go into coach and like customize uh, like the dinkies this is like the, this is the dinky the classic dinky bag and then you can like put whatever you want on so they don't just have flowers they have like buttons and badges and all sorts of cool stuff but I put these flowers on and I just really like it I think it's like the ultimate kind of summer uh, boho bag I really like it and then I have this one which is very special because this is the uh, in the fro uh, collaboration with Strathbury this should actually be in my designer 
section actually because it's not particularly high street these are pretty expensive and um, but we got them from victoria she gifted some of her blogger friends the bags and we had a lovely breakfast and it was really really nice and i felt so happy and special to be included and it is a very beautiful bag like look at the purple and it's just very very pretty okay next it's in a Michael Kors dust bag, but it's not Michael Kors. Um, this is... Oh, dear. This is a sentimental bag. Oh, God. This is... This was my first ever Ted Baker bag. Um, I had wanted one for ever obviously you guys know i am obsessed with ted baker now i was obsessed with it i've been obsessed with it since i was about 15 16 and this was the first one that i got i got it for my 17th birthday i think um from my boyfriend at the time and it was just so special like i loved this with all of my heart i haven't used it in years um it's kind of been in storage Oh, you know those things that you want to keep because they're sentimental, but if I actually just saw the bag, would I want to keep it? Like, probably not. It is really pretty, but I just don't know if I'm going to actually use it or not. I just don't know what to do. Do you know what? I think I'm going to see if my granny wants this, because I feel like I'm not really ready to, like, give it away to stranger. You know, I kind of want to keep it close by, but I don't want it to just sit in a cupboard and not get used. So I'm going to ask if my granny wants this. Hopefully she will. I think she will. Next, I have my little Longchamp bag. I really like this. Um, it's really good for traveling if I need to like throw stuff in. Um, it's nice and spacious and I like how it folds up and doesn't take up a lot of space when you don't need it to. It's just really handy and I just think they look really nice and classic as well. I also have this cute little bag from a brand called Pedraza or Pedraza. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, but the designer makes all these cute little bags. They're so adorable and um, really beautiful. And I kind of want to put this on display in one of my shelves. I think it's really pretty. So yeah, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> okay, next. I feel like this is going to be really tough. I have my little collection of Michael Kors bags. So as you guys know, um, maybe, I don't know about the rest of the world, but in the UK, Michael Kors was like a big craze a few years ago. Like they were really, really in and everyone had a Michael Kors bag. And I have a few. So I have this black one, which is the Jet Set Safiano Tote, which I love. This was my first kind of expensive bag. I just thought it was the most magnificent thing I'd ever had like and I still think it's really lovely it's very classic the thing is though I haven't used this in at least two years I would say um, and I just feel like maybe it's time has passed I do still really like it but I think now that the craze is over I don't know if Michael Kors feels like a little bit dated I'm not sure like this is not a statement at all I actually really like the brand I really like the style of the bags but I just don't think that I will use this anymore it's been in storage um, I haven't missed it so I think that is a sign you you know served me very well Michael Kors bag but it's time to say goodbye and then I have this brown one which I think is lovely I think this color is absolutely lovely um, I'm not sure what I should do about this I've used this bag to death and it just happens to be in great condition the straps are a little bit okay the straps aren't in great condition as you can see they're kind of fraying a tiny bit but in general like I think it looks really nice still um, I'm not too sure what to do. I really, I really like it. But again, this one's been in storage and I haven't reused it. So I think maybe I should get rid of this. I really don't know. This is really hard. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. And then I have this one, which, do you know what? I'm just going to keep this because when I got this, I thought it was just incredible. It's in perfect condition and I just think it's so cute. It's such a nice color. Here I have a clutch, which... I am going to get rid of because I never ever use it and the annoying thing is it's monogrammed, it says FCB so I don't really think any of you guys are going to want this um, so maybe I'll just take it to the charity shop but uh, it just, it's not handy, it doesn't fit anything in. This is really cute, this is really fun, I do really like it but I'm not sure I'll use it. What do you guys think? I don't know, it's really hard isn't it? It's just so cute and fluffy. I don't know what I should do about this one guys, what do you think? Am I going to use it realistically? But also, is it just too cute to, to get rid of? This can go in the maybe pile too. 
Then I have this cute little Kate Spade bag, which is beautiful, but I do think I will get rid of this, only because I feel like I'm gonna find this hard to wear, and I just can't see myself using it. I have another beautiful black Kate Spade bag that I really like, so um, yeah, I'll lose this one. And then the final two bags. First of all, I have this one from Aldo, which is like a work of art. Just like the other one, it has these applique flowers, except the color scheme on this is to die for, and to be honest, I mean, I don't even use this very much, but I just think it needs to go on display. Like, what is this doing here when this could be here? Yeah, I, I think we just need to do a little switcheroo. And that needs to go there because that's amazing. And then the last bag is another favourite of mine, so I will be keeping it. But it's my Coach Chanel basket bag. I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, like, it really stands out. It's beautiful quality. It actually fits quite a lot in uh, and yeah I really like this so we'll be keeping hold of this one and you know what just for the sake of clearing out I'm just I'm gonna get rid of these two because I just have to get rid of them and I just know once they're gone I won't remember them and I won't miss them so I just need to do it because I really I don't want this video to be a fail I want to have got rid of many bags okay I'm gonna do a little count up and see how I did <laughs> 1, 2, 9, 10, 15, 14, 15 bags! I also think I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to keep the pink one. I know, I know, but I, I'm just in the mood to get rid of things. So um, I'm probably going to do a review on all of this later. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget that I'm going to be listing all of these bags, bar maybe a couple if my family want them, on my Depop. And don't forget also that I've got some really exciting videos coming up in August that I know you guys really, really want to see. So please make sure you have notifications turned turned on by hitting the bell icon. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye!